thinking of a big doctrinal issue. These were the soul destroying sins and heresies that tore the church apart. And within 10 years, 1857, uh, a new church was formed. It was called the Christian Reformed Church. It was, it imagined itself to be purer than the Reformed Church. I hope you don't mind my being a little sarcastic about this. I grew up in the Christian Reformed Church. I have many cousins who are in the Reformed Church. But for many years during my childhood, those two branches of the family wouldn't talk to each other. No, no, no. A mixed marriage was one in which somebody married a Reformed Churcher, you know? <laughs> um, yeah. So the community, <clears throat> it may seem astonishing to you, but a community that looks from the outside to be virtually identical is really potential for all sorts of strife, all sorts of, sorts of splitting apart. Um, I think I know at least one reason for that. There are several reasons for it. And one, I suppose, is a desire for purity. Dutch people, um, they clean their sidewalks obsessively. They, you know, in some parts of the world, people say cleanliness is next to godliness. You often think the Dutch put it the other way around. Godliness is next to cleanliness. But cleanliness is the real issue here, you know. And so there was a kind of obsession with purity. But I think behind that really was a nearly universal concern for all immigrants to this society, to American society, and maybe for all immigrants everywhere. They were seriously concerned about just how American should they become. Should you allow your people to do all the things that the Americans around you do? Speak English, wear white dresses, have picnics, feel soft about funeral services for kittens? Should you do all those things that Americans do, or should you hang on to your vision of what your people represented at what you think of as their purest and their best? Now, I think, frankly, the fight between what came to be the Reformed Church in America, the RCA, and the Christian Reformed Church, the CRC, that fight, it was a real fight, and a nasty one for a long time. Um, but I think really it was a fight, partly, maybe a large part, about assimilation strategies, immigration strategies. Just how far should we go? They both knew they were Americans. They were not Dutch people anymore. But what did it mean for them to be a Calvinist in America? To have a faith that they believed had a strong intellectual background and a had to remain for most of them a crucial component of their life. What are they going to do? How are they going to define it? And that's what much of the fighting was. Now, as a result of that fighting, I suspect another figure I got from, uh, from Robert Swearingen, I suspect one result of that was a large scale departure from both of those churches by many Dutch immigrants um, and Dutch immigrant descendants. As Swearingen points out now, seven eighths of all people, of everyone in America who identifies himself, identifies as Dutch American. Everyone who says he or she is Dutch. Seven eighths of them don't belong to either the RCA or the CRC. They've gone elsewhere. <laughs> and now, uh, that split occurred in 1857, and in 2002, uh, the two groups began talking again about possible reuniting. I doubt whether that's going to happen. Most groups have lived independently for a long time. They tend to stay that way. But one result of, of the split has been very positive. There are two competing sets of institutions all through West Michigan. Two colleges, both of them very good colleges. Well, the whole college representing or founded by uh, an Alton representing the Reformed Church in America. Dalton College in Grand Rapids, representing the Christian Reformed Church, and founded by members of that church. Two seminaries, Western Theological Seminary and Dalton Seminary. Um, a number of very good care systems on folks in retirement homes, <coughs> hospitals, on uh, a public school system that is defined in its community, because in these churches, the Reformed Church was always 
historically, the Church of the Public School and the Christian Reformed Church is sort of